Okay, rodeo season, we know. So if you're headed out to the rodeo in the coming days, you may want to break in those cowboy boots. And that is especially true if you only wear them during rodeo time. So here with us this morning is Dr. Sarita Dillard. She's a, pod a podiatrist with Kelsey Siebel Clinic. Good morning, Dr. Dillard. Good morning, good morning. Nice Thanks to for meet having you. me. Nice you have a good you. last name too. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> so let's talk about these cowboy boots. I, for example, I just got mine last week, really just broke the mint at rodeo. How can these cowboy boots really hurt your feet if you're not breaking them in? So this is very important, especially this time of year. So a lot of the boots have a very narrow toe box, and that's the main thing that I see causing problems. Mm -hmm. uh, with the narrow toe box, it does not work for certain deformities like bunions or hammer toes where you really should have more of a wider toe box shoe. So I think that's one of the most important things to focus on is making sure there's a supportive insole and a wider toe box to accommodate your feet. So what do you do? Because I always hear people say, make sure you break them in, otherwise you're going to hate yourself at the rodeo. How do you break them in? So that, that's also a good question. So you should not have to truly break them in. The mm. shoes should fit comfortably when you leave the store. So I always recommend getting the shoes professionally fitted at the store. Walk around in them. Make sure they fit your larger foot because most people have a variation in size in their two feet. So you want them to fit the larger foot and you want them to be comfortable when you leave. If they are not comfortable then, then they certainly will not be comfortable after walking for several hours what at the I, rodeo. What I should have asked, what can you do to make them more comfortable than they already are? So they should be comfortable when you leave the store, but you can also stretch the boots. They are leather and there are different types of um, boot stretchers. We had one here um, that would be great in just stretching that boot a little bit after you purchase them and before you wear them for several hours. Anything else you can do uh, to make them fit more comfortably or, or and, and should they fit perfectly? or should you have just a bit more room? You want to have a little more room just to accommodate the foot specifically also because of that toe box that we described. You, you can't avoid that toe box in some of the specific boot styles that people love. Mm -hmm. So just making sure you have enough room. In. Is there, and, and I've heard different things about this, is there like a cowboy boot sock you're supposed to wear with them? Should you wear socks? Should you not wear socks? These are all questions. Yes, you should definitely wear socks. Um, you ha have to remember also with walking for several hours, the feet tend to sweat. Mm -hmm. And so the socks not only give you a little bit more comfort, but they also help absorb any of the sweat or excess, th excess sweat that may happen over several hours. And there are cowboy socks, I mean, I'm sorry, cowboy boot socks, which have just an added layer mm. of that support and material for you. They're a bit thicker? Yes. Okay. Uh, so I always hear as well, like when you get a pair of cowboy boots, they can last you forever. Now they're not supposed to last forever. You're not supposed to wear them. In initially, I mean, eventually you're supposed to buy a new pair of boots. When is the time for you to buy a new pair? Right. So you should not, they should not last forever. And there is sentimental value to these boots for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And so once the boots are worn out, you want to consider resoling them, you know, um, making sure that that insole remains supportive. And it's, it's just a judgment call also because some people wear them for hours a day, mm -hmm. months at a time. I wear mine specifically during rodeo season. So you kind of have to check in with yourself and, and, and look at those yeah. boots and ask yourself, are they too worn down? Are they no longer off offering the support that I need? All right. Well, good advice for sure as we head into rodeo season and you're walking around and your feet might be hurting <laughs> by the end of the night. <laughs> Dr. Dillard, we appreciate you. Yes, so thank much. you for having me. Dr. Dillard, that sounds good to say to somebody. <laughs> thank you so much.